in, in real life. Um, just gonna do the typical pocket soldier rollout here. What you will see us doing is that we are gonna have a slow rollout with both soldiers. The benefit of this is that you can get both soldiers on 300 when they arrive on mids. I am able to have a good read on their valley and coming in here is just spamming away the sticky, forcing that soldier off our train. Getting good damage on the scout and now a call to go forwards. We have two people basically out of the fight. One is a frag, one is really weak. We just move forward as a force together. We go back up to actually start to distract a bit, take a lot of damage. Almost died to the soldier. The soldier is called. He's not going to cause much trouble for my team. I just wait in, my, in the house to not get fragged. And then what was basically the first mid for us that we won. I'm gonna pause here in 3, 2, 1. So again I'm gonna explain the slope rollout with the soldier and what why I benefit as a pocket from just going through slope with my medic. Um, you saw me when I arrived on slope, I was on 300 HP, um, T-Mac was on 300 HP, I could easily just counter jump their roamer, basically deny him with like 70 damage already. He's gonna be out of the fight for the next let's say five seconds the scout basically sees me and his point of view rushes over the point towards me because he wants me to be off that train to enable the mid for his roaming soldier scout takes a nice rocket to the face it's instantly cleaned off by sam which is our pocket scout and that enables the, the middle point for us the next rockets and the next pipe spam that came in just went towards me which is basically all i want i'm the pocket soldier i'm the i have the biggest buff on mid they can fight me as long as they want even if i die they waste a lot of HP and a lot of ammo on me. Um, we should take Spire here with relative ease. We have a hundred percent charge. They don't have charge, and we have the scouts and our Roma already going to Spire. I'm gonna unpause the demo in three, two, one, and we're back live. I'm gonna go to trash here really quick, just to control some area and to maybe provide uh, prevent them from having a sniper or just a peeker. Um, Going towards the lobby here, I think I'm gonna call for people to get buffed up. Just checking where the positioning of the demo is. Demo is not low right, I get spotted. I fall out of the out of the area. And let's see what our push will be. Brigo arrives. I think he died on mid and is our respawn wave. And he will go with the Uber on top left. We take a scout in as well, just to force. And now what we're gonna do is Oh there's no charge. My bad, it's not a force. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to recycle top right, because we got spotted top left. Keep our HP, work the point, work the scout and the soldier. Soldier <laughs> catches a nice lucky rocket and we get the point for free, basically. Nothing much they could do, uber versus non-uber. And uh, we took the scout with Rigo there top left, uh, basically against the pyro, which is a standard play nowadays to block an uber charge, and it's much easier for a hit scan class like a scout to deny that juggle off the, the pyro here. I go through house just to see if that soldier is maybe counter jumping us in slope. Connect with my medic again. I see all of them are being in the front so I get a lot of buff. A little bit of buff I jump into them. Don't get too much damage done and I die. Uh, I'm gonna pause the demo in three, two, one. Um Basically a bit a bad mid for me. I made a decision to go through house, which was wrong because I played the whole mid without a real buff. It wasn't necessary uh, to change the mid after the first one was so successful. Um, I have a problem or floor as a player that if I don't see myself initiating something within the first few seconds of a mid or a push or whatever, I start to get really impatient. And I didn't wait there for them to maybe overextend or whatever. They were nicely set up on the train. The scout was basically just waiting for aggression and instantly destroyed me uh, just going in. Um, what happens now is a rookie mistake I think Sam will do. Um, James Marble will be falling back through main. Do you see him have we have 60% advantage right now or not advantage but percentage and it's basically even on charges we could hold last and what will happen is that Sam will disconnect for him to control area in main maybe or whatever and you will see that this in the end will cost us the round. Um, I'm gonna unpause in three, two, one. So here James falls back. This is Sam called Anna Flank at the moment. He just I don't know what he does, he 
runs around a bit here we lose vital time to actually build this charge um, now our gunboat soldier has to charge there Sam he arrives trick is on sniper going for the hero pick again um, we're close to getting uber I'm gonna see the percentage really soon when I get a buff so I'm gonna pause here three two one what happens now is we're close to Uber. T Mag is the only one on left side. He's gonna get rushed by a scout top left. That is basically the guy is in already. Rigo respawns now. We have no side lower left. And because Sam came to us so late to build, we are really clumped up on the right side. You see four of our people Twig, me, Sam, and Admirable on top right side. The whole team of Broder will, I think, come in lower left and just basically some sort of backup us. I'm gonna unpost in three, two, one. So we spam up that scout, we get distracted, they uber in lower left, Brigo is still in spawn, and that is uh, was poor play by us there. Equalizer rollout again. And I think this time I will just go slow because it worked out the first mid, didn't work on the second one. Both of our scouts are nicely buffed. I have a good buff, I spam this rocket towards the demo so he can't just sit there. I see the roamer, I jump the scout and you know, I choke, I get nicely denied by him. Basically a lot of damage on me already and this James goes down now, this mid is basically lost. I'm just gonna risk it now, I'm gonna make a distract play for our scouts because they are the vital class now to survive and I, I get a nice rocket on on Cookie that was, he dies. I die to his sticky. So we just traded Frex basically and we also got Marilyn, I think, in, a, in exchange, so this is not too bad. It was just, as soon as our medic died, we all had to go in to equalize a bit. Um, Twig will build now. Sam is giving some side on mid, just checking out where they are, what they're doing, maybe see if Marilyn's respawning with crit charge. We're gonna set up ourselves defensively on our balcony. We could hold choke, but since we are not sure what they have, like if they have crits or a sniper maybe or whatsoever we're setting up on ch choke as far away as we can from them we see them coming into choke already what we do now is like some sort of bait play we let them come into banana what we call on the far left side uh, i'm gonna pause here three two one uh, now that we know that they're pushing both of the scouts are on the point if we just get some damage on them they will be out of the fight and i can basically initiate the play on their enemy combo on the enemy combo. I have 240 HP. People are already um, wasting the ammo on the balcony section here, so they will be in a reloading patterns. You're gonna see me initiating a play in about two seconds, I think. I will get another nice buff, and I'm gonna do a two, a two for one exchange. I'm gonna unpause in three, two, one. So I'm gonna jump on them. Medic hits a nice rocket. I had a nice rocket on medic. Get the medic. I get a scout here. We had no flank really because everybody of us was on a balcony, but that, but that doesn't matter. Now we just have to play really tight around our medic because they will try to equalize now as well to try to get our medic to just uh, enable the mid for them again. But we can clean up the frags here really nicely, which makes it so much easier for us to just retake mid. It shouldn't be a big problem here. In this demo you will see a lot of fail ubers from us, we are also not going to win this game and I think it has more value for you guys that are watching this and for me if we don't watch a 5-0 role of us against some lower premiership team but actually a team, uh, if, um, a game that we lose. I'm just reconnecting with my combo here, I'm holding choke because I know people are in house so these guys are already playing together. So combo, there's a sniper called on, on balcony, I just spam him out. There's nothing really to achieve for me. We uber into lobby. Uh, we get one soldier so far. I think Brigo goes down now to Zebuzai within the next few seconds. There's nothing I can do in this fight. I just stay out and keep my HP. Now thing, I'm gonna pause here in three, two, one. One thing that I did um, when I started to play pocket for this team was that I always tried to make hero plays to save uh, James in a situation. The cap just goes off in that second. We are on tick 22,990 at the moment. The cap of our scouts just go off. And um, I see a scout on the balcony, so I can't really jump towards the trash to meet with James. So I will just stay around the jump pad and basically guard his exit route. I could jump towards him waste HP and ammo, weaken myself and then maybe end up in a scenario where he doesn't even need me, to, like he doesn't want to heal anyone, he just wants to run away. So I wait for him here, 
got his exit route, which is basically this banana entrance on the right side, he will connect with me and I try to get him out of the situation, which I do here. Just gonna guard him again. Build charge a bit. Um, now there's a back cap being called that is going to be initiated, so I want to put up some damage on Spire at that time. Bibbin flanks us. We had a scout pocketing our medic that really didn't pay attention to what was happening on left and right, just watched the Spire. So the lost our medic in that scenario. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped the Spire. Um, the back cap is not gonna go through, so it was a poor play by us in the end. Um, that started with not really getting shit done with our charge and ended up with us not having control over our flank to hold a choke point like this. What we do is just we play really safe now. We can't afford James to die once again. Um, not even gonna risk dying here on mid for some force or whatever. I don't think T Mag is in right now. He's gonna guard the choke as well. I don't wanna give them mid for free without really healing much. So Brigo dies into a flank again. We didn't have flank control, absolutely no side. Scouts again just playing around on weird positionings instead of guarding the heavy classes here. And that, that pick on Brigo enables them to spy completely. Um, because we can't contest without his damage arc and without his damage output scenario. Brigo will now play with us on top right. We have more people on the left side. It's already a different setup than we had before. Uh, I like to play on this ring here because if they come main and if somebody comes stairs and jumps towards the point, I have an easy rocket on him. And this is something that Broder does and we will see them doing now as well. They just crush our flank, have somebody play on the point. We will actually defend this because I get nice rockets and nice damage done. Um, three, I'm gonna pause in three, two, one. So what happens here is James is on 11 HP. I jump towards him to get healed up again. Rico was basically uncontested the whole time and James kept him healed on 260 HP for about five to six seconds while I was fighting people in main. Um, it's a bit of a poor play by him and me together. I can't blame him completely for that because I can't expect somebody to instantly react to what I'm doing and instantly be on the same mindset and on the same page. So I could have used a bit more heals here. We're gonna heal up offensively behind the point to uh, stall people out in it just to control area and we were gonna defend it with like ba we We're barely gonna defend it. Let's say it like this. We're gonna unpause in three two one So there's scouts on the left them on right. Brigo helps me a bit with spamming out that guy in main uh, the Scout just stays out. I'm gonna die here now But we have good control of a point. Brigo hits a nice pipe onto cookie. James stays alive. Team X spawns and this is Basically us holding the point. So, um, since the whole uber fight lasts, lasted for that long, I expect a respawning wave to be in us already, and t -Mac is a good off classes, so I don't know if he went spy or not. And he went spy, I see him, he dies, which basically is already really good for us. We can start to push out now a bit, this is a pick and we have some advantage. Um, yeah, I always like to push out through this drop-down area just to see like if a flanker, if I can find a flanker here, we, maybe it looks like a forward hold. They're coming into main, we lose team mag, we trade soldier for soldier, we say okay, forward hold is not uh, possible anymore. Again, four people on top right, lower left completely unguarded, they just come in. Um, Sam gets a uh, cookie. So I go behind him here, they will fall out. I fake to jump into trash, stay actually main because I know they can just fall out here. I block the people, we get the, the frag snare change and I'm gonna pause the, the demo here. 3, 2, 1. So what happened was that we got the frags on the on the combo, on the medic and the demo. Our scouts are completely out of position, you can see here on Sam's positioning that he's on the floor next to Spire. Twig is basically half on the spire, is gonna drop down now. We have absolutely no time on it, so all the frags we are doing are not gonna matter much. I'm down, I can't control the the drop down section nor last, so I think we will even have to keep Brigo on last. And T Mac and James are somewhere between the spire and the main entrance, so what we will see happening is now what I was trying to control before, the flank, like the drop down section, the drop down players, the the scouts will come in and destroy our people on last. Um, 
Bad positioning by our scouts, got too greedy, basically went for the frags on the lower ground instead of just controlling it and let the frags be. I mean, it doesn't matter if they survive, we still had our medic up. All that matters is basically kept them in that scenario, so I'm gonna ampose now. Three, two, one. Yeah, t Twig drops down really weak, Sam is on Spire. There's a scout, Ombri go on Laz, and he hits nice damage on them. There's another scout coming in. Absolutely no control of what is going on on the flank and uh, we give away rounds like this. Really sloppy play by us. Standard equalizer rollout. Um, slow play again. There was a night where we really just practiced this slow play. Got a bit inspired there by mix up just seeing it, uh, seeing them doing it over and over again. Um, now I just counter jump again. Get some damage on the scout. I'm in position to move forward now. I call to move forward uh, to basically focus down that soldier. The soldier gets absolutely destroyed. We have no force on them now. This is like the perfect scenario for T Mech to come in. He's somewhere beneath the point with Rigo fighting there with the scout as well. And this is not going to end well for us. Oh, actually, Timek just respawned. Never mind. But it was a scout and Brigo being underneath the point. Brigo just putting out massive damage here. So that basically could have worked way better for us if we had our roamer life utilizing on my damage and my distraction. Because you saw them what like just looking at me when I counter jumped their soldiers and destroyed that guy. Um, we're recycling now, or like going back into middle, just looking a bit around. People are getting healed up. Nothing out of the ordinary. Um, we know that they're going to be set up in choke here. Team X jumps in. He's a nice little distraction. Just takes spam off choke. Um, he's going to get healed up again, so I can start to be a bit more aggress aggressive towards like the drop down section. I see the soldier in drop down. I go to far right where um, James is playing. That James now stops uh, stops to heal me because I think he got jumped by a scout. So we get completely destroyed and out healed in that scenario. Teammate goes for the medic to try to equalize, and I think we're gonna get the medic in exchange here. Good aggression by Sammy and Brigo, and I think they're gonna beast it. Um, like I said, the trigger here is always that our medic dies. Um, that means that we can't do anything else, we can't reset on mid, we have to get the medic to enable that cap point for us and we are able to now hold mid and maybe give, give Spire another shot if we go go fast. So what I call now is that we go to resub side because the respawners are coming in now maybe to try for a backup play to go on the flank. I go aggressive on the soldier, there's no escape for him. We are called here now so like um, Rip and Zebo can set up maybe a defense on on for the balcony from balcony to resub side so what we do is we even get a bib and frag here so this is really good we just went back to mid we got spotted we got called early snow no point in us just rushing it we had the advantage of that frag bibbin overextended into us we got this frag as well we go back to resub side just to check out what is happening we have charge we can walk into them our scouts shouldn't be here with us, our sh scout should be on the flank, t Mac is in, our scouts should now be on jump pad going towards Spire, we're all on the ground, we lose t Mac. we get a soldier in exchange, we still have no cap time on it whatsoever, we now get cap time on it, we can't help our scouts, really with damage now we lose and one of our scouts already, I miss all of my shots on the demo and I'm gonna die to his scout here, um, so yeah. I think what, what is really obvious in that game is that our priorities are wrong in terms of who needs to do what in what scenario. That, do, that does count for me as well. Now you just see Sam going up the spire now. Like the timing for that is completely off and the cab is not going to go through. Um, I guess they will contest him otherwise that wouldn't much sense since I just saw soldiers. Yeah, yeah he's getting contested. Um, we're going back to middle. I think Sam needs some some heals. A soldier hit, uh, hit a nice direct on that soldier. Team Mech is in the flank, destroying that soldier in house. Gets uh, destroyed by Cookie. We know that Cookie's on our flank now, which is good. Like I, when I know where he is, I can control it. I'm just watching Haunter now. I don't need to fear him being like in front of me or behind me. I just watch my flank. It's really easy to play like this. Um, we go in. 
really fast, little right, we think that we maybe can c catch them off guard. Um, I damaged the point, we lose the scout. The scout was again with the combo there, going the same route. Um, yeah, we lost two people. Brigo sets up a sticky trap that is basically always going to get a scout if he deads it right. Um, have to watch out that we don't get cut jumped. We get jumped in that scenario. We uber defensively. It's not a, an aggressive uber. We get we get jumped in uber because of that. Um, I try to work my way around the flank because I know there's an uber versus uber fight happening right now that I don't want to be in. I'm going to be able to sneak behind that scout. Easy frag for me. Under damage in the face of Cookie there. Um, reconnect with my medic. He's weakened, but we got the better out of this uber fight just because I didn't force my medic to pop on me as well. Work the flank a bit. Rigo absolutely destroys on last right now. And it's 2-2-2. Two, two, two. What we're gonna see um, Broder doing now is that they apply a lot, a lot of damage on uh, me on the train. Or they try to do like... Um, valley pushes, re um, shithouse pushes and... What this basically enables is that they're focusing a lot of their fire on me and our flank should be able to destroy them as well, but it's not gonna happen. Um, counter jumping shit house, destroying Zabuzai. Get out of here, Zabuzai. Watch my demos, bro. Um, we're controlling shit house now really nicely. Our skank, the flank also destroys their, their choke. We're just holding position now. We just collapse on them. We can risk to drop down. We can risk. To, to, to sacrifice the mid positioning for the two frags that were left um, and we wiped them on mid for I think it was me for six of their players so it's all cool I don't mind dying at all as a pocket soldier I get the most heals so I can tank that um, team fo pushes forward and I think I'm not even gonna survive uh, I'm not even gonna arrive fast enough to see that last push Zebozai gets shut down before the Uber even happened, I think I'm... Yeah, there we go. There's my Uber, guys. And we're going to take a scout in again. Scout just able to maybe sac um, destroy that pyro that is waiting there. Freck comes in on Bibbin. I guess he was the pyro. Tech goes down. I circle around to control the right side because I expect a Demo to be there playing there. Demo is top left. We sacrifice for the point. <laughs> a lot of people dying for it, but we had enough numbers to risk it. We had that when we played in the Q Q quarantine official this season where we sacrificed three people for the same sticky trap. Really poor play that we did there and <laughs> something it's really risky that this happens over and over again if three people suddenly think they have to sacrifice themselves now. I'm much rather for me sacrificing to have a scout double cap that point than scout dying for it. I see that scout now, I know there's a soldier in shit house. I control him. I control the scout and now I call to go forward. Our flank should be in now, jumping them, but there is no jump happening at all. Um, we basically now the jump is happening by T Mac. Timing is really, really off for, there for us. Um, and I'm, I think we're gonna get destroyed here. I'm gonna pause the demo now. Three, two, one. So what you saw there was that I had their complete flank under control. I saw the scout being on slope, so I knew that Brigo on balcony is going to control him with a sticky on slope. I know I knew that their Roma tech was in shit house. He saw me seeing him. Sounds funny, but that was the case. So he jumped out of balcony. He outnumbers his team for a couple of seconds. It's a five versus six scenario. We should just be able to out damage them. No counter jump by T Mac happened. T Mac was somewhere on our balcony. We took loads and loads of damage. Then T Mac jumped. We couldn't follow up his, dam his damage and destruction at all because we, we just risked to die. And you will see me dying here on mid as well. Like, I don't even know who's going to kill me, but that guy just has easy damage on me. He has the better positioning. Had the heals over the whole mid, basically. And. That was poor coordination play by us as a team, and uh, t the timing off of the jump of Team Egg there. We're gonna unpost in 3, 2, 1. Zabuzai kills me. He's gonna reconnect with Merlin. Um, Brigo dies really late. This is always something bad. If Brigo dies really late, we can't even get like damage on the Spire. And in that scenario, what our team really fails to do is just to keep their cool and not sacrifice another player for the medic. I mean, we lost just lost five people on mid or four to five people. And I saw just teammate initiating a play on, on Haunter or waiting on Haunter to go on the medic again. 
it's uh, he dies now really late again. It's nothing you need. You need six figures up on last buff people to control the last to be able to hold against an uber versus non uber, and then. Um, our second scout or one of our scouts dies as well before the uber comes in and they have just four against six people and charge against no uber there's nothing we can do really poor play again we give it away with stupid decision making like this and this is just really this is really just hero plays people want these frags for their frag set or whatever because otherwise it's not wouldn't make any sense um slope rollout and T Mac 300, I have 300, I counter jump. Roamer's Roamer's out of the fight, I go for, I get juggled forward. We have nice damage on their side basically, and I can destroy Cookie because he doesn't see me. Nobody, like the scouts usually pocket when I leave the medic, nobody really pocket James that he died. Um, yeah, it was, I, I, I think I didn't communicate that I disconnected from James, so nobody really felt the urge to pocket him. It was probably a miscall I made, or a call I didn't make that lost us, I made there. Because the scouts and Brigo were focusing their targets while they had no idea that I was getting juggled away from my medic. Um, sniper play from Twig. Going for the hero play onto the... James shouldn't be with him here, by the way. Shame should be on last, trying to... Uh, reconnect with somebody that can build. I don't know really what he's thinking right now. Because um, he's buffing a fully buff player constantly. We lose Twig for that hero play. Um, people are still fighting, losing their losing HP. Uh, we should have a heavy aura of Pyro by now, and we we have none of these already. Um, we're not gonna get charged before they come in. I think, and they are already sticking the points. So I see them getting ready for for like a, a point play. We drop down towards them. James is not surviving this because he's on the floor in the middle of everything. Um, I risk to basically go for mill in, and the rest of the team basically just destroys and has like really good damage and rockets on them. So it's a poor play. It was a poor uber by Broder. They got distracted a lot, fired a lot of rockets at me just flying around. Then, when I was actually quite weak, they stopped to, uh, stopped firing at me, so I managed to kill their medic, and it was poor focus fire by Broad and nothing more. Um, I'm gonna pause the demo here. 3, 2, 1. We are on tick. Um, 80, 81,000. 300. And. What's gonna happen here is, and then what I should have read earlier, is that half of the point is capped. Brigo is sticking the point, which is always a good move, but if Rotor recycles and they want to come in again, um, which they can because they die together with their medic, they will make a point play much rather than a kill um, a play for a medic. The point play, the play for the point, always means that someone or maybe a lot of people, if you're uncoordinated, will drop down to the point and you can push from the from the higher ground, from, from the top lobby into people and they will be sitting ducks on the point and you can destroy them and I think that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna see like a soldier jumping through main. We have no stickies main so that soldier has an uncontested jump. He's gonna jump on the point, fire one rocket at his feet so he just juggles stickies around. That guy's completely distracting us. Everybody feels like dropping down and having to block the point and uh, it's lacking, lacking of communication and uh, the lack of basically the the misunderstanding of priorities again. But it, because I think in that scenario it should just be my job to go down there. It's like I'm gonna I'm gonna be on 300 HP. The others should ha keep the higher ground. But we didn't communicate that, and we'll, we will just be dropping down and dying. I'm gonna unpause in three, two, one. Rigo sticks up. Twig is going for a spy play. He just got called to do a spy play to check if the enemy has crits or not, but I think he actually decides to go for a spy play, which I can't really agree with, but that's his choice. Um, that's, the, that's the soldier I was talking about. He, j he survives that. He's still alive. He's down now. They force us to drop down off the point. The scout plays on it. The, the demo has easy, easy pipes and spam on us, and the scout just caps. It's like... Basic TF2, that's what people played four years ago already, and we should have read it, but we didn't. And it's my job to call that, and I failed in that scenario, so there's no no one else to blame. Basic rollout again. 
we really just practiced it that night. I think the uh, demo has great value for all of us. So I see the Roma jumping. They're really aggressive on our train. I get completely shut down here. I, I save Rigo because I saw a scout rushing into our house. So I had nice prediction rockets on him. He still dies. Um, I'm going to pause now. Three, two, one. So this is what I'm talking about like earlier, what we will bro to see doing. They know that basically all I want them to do is to waste a lot of HP or not a lot of HP, but a lot of manpower and a lot of ammo on our train. So my flank can basically just destroy them and my scouts can walk out of a point. So what they do now really early with Tech and uh, Cookie and Bibbin is that they have a rusher underneath the point. They have like somebody going up our slope that I have to focus. They have two people destroying Sam in choke. So there are already people behind us before we even arrive on mid. This is something that is um really hard to counter when you do like do like slow plays because sam would have to read it super early to basically play on the stairs and choke to not die instantly and um yeah we see in the nearer future in the next nine minutes if we're going to be able to counter that or not I'm gonna unpost now in three two one so this time our scout actually stays with our medic. We're building really nicely like we're supposed to do. Nobody else needs to go to Spire now. We're just gonna hold and I think now we're gonna expect the point play a bit more and uh, Brigo's gonna put up stickies in main. I like to play on the point right now to just give a sight where they are. If they have like a sniper in main or whatever, the soldiers coming in top right just f forcing and getting out of the Uber. I just juggle them around a bit. Still keep my HP. The sticks in main. That are we that we're gonna clear? I call for spam in main just because I I thought they would recycle. And now what I'm gonna do is now a scout should actually reconnect with James to to build because I want to stay on the ground. Like I expect them to just recycle, and I want to be in that position that I'm playing right now. I have nice rockets and easier rockets on them if they come from stairs uh, than they have on me. I can call spam in really early. That scout is basically just standing there wasting ammo. A soldier gets completely destroyed but almost caps the point and they again just come in from the higher ground instantly. Chamo just has to step on it for one second and the point is gone. So it's again the same strategy that we they were doing and it works out perfectly fine against them. Something to have you have to expect right now. And I called it this time and uh, yeah, it took us ages to, to get tech off the point. Um, what we will see now is that I saw them do, being so aggressive on our choke last minute that I will try to just be an our choke before them. I'm not gonna wait here for a scout or whatever, so I just jump into our choke. I completely annihilate Cookie there. Goodbye, my friend. Uh, we have good damage on them. I get a soldier pick as well. I instantly go back on mid because I want positioning. T Mac is chasing already, so I call to push. T Mac is in. Gives us some sides, some information on the on the positioning of the combo. This is sticky, I kill it. And they're on to right right now. Soldier's jumping us, T Mac is <laughs> absolutely destroyed. I count the jump so they can't focus him down. I get the demo pick, nice exchange. I will die for this. That soldier is gonna sacrifice his higher ground positioning for uh, the lower ground on the banana. So day four is now. James drops Sam, so we're going back to middle to have like a regroup. Um, team up again just a reset of the whole spire push we force the uber out of them they're just throwing people at us here to get our force off and t-mac dies i think we will pop now and we pop now and I'm turning around i think then tech is behind us maybe somebody went behind us we will we will never know because this is not an stv demo well Tech just killed Sam, so Tech is definitely behind us. We're just gonna leave him now because half of Spire is capped, and if they want their, their soldiers to, to play behind us, then they can do it. They just plan on his destruction, so we're gonna get destroyed here, I remember that. Look, I'm just going on to Spire, trying to distract them, but they don't fall for it. They keep on focusing on the onto the choke, so my distraction can't be worked off. I try to buy as much time here as I can, I expect it to die and... Oh, actually, their demo dies because he follows uh, follows the distraction I make. T-Mac not using the equalizer here, that's gonna turn out badly for him because he could have kept it. But he uh, is not using that, maybe he's using it now, I'm not really too sure. So, we lose middle.
We lose a lot of people really late. Brigo just dies. Um, I think I'm re gonna reconnect with James here. I'm not even gonna risk to get flanked in lobby. I go back to last and uh, ask for the respawn times of my team because if I know Brigo's gonna spawn in like six or seven seconds, I could just, um, yeah, step away from from James a bit more to control main again, which I think I'm gonna do now. I just gonna just gonna spot their positioning here. Look, I just saw where they are holding. And we expect him to have a jumper. Brigo's sticky trap is set up. A lot of damage again, or good damage on, on Rip. I just like to play in that positioning. Because I can, look, this, these rockets here are all hitting them. You can maybe hear it in a demo. Um, they're just walking in really deep on top right. Uncontested. Brigo's uh, in danger to get dropped. That soldier is not dying at all, but we know that he can just heal that soldier now after the uber flashes, otherwise that guy dies. I <laughs> like. I land on the higher ground again, I get shut down, but we get nice frags in return. Cookie dies to James though. This is, um, James dies to Cookie, my bad, I'm sorry. Brigo who hits a nice pipe. Um, and here people, this is a thing. Let's pause. In 3, 2, 1. Their medic stayed alive, and ours didn't. So I told you earlier that th this is our trigger for aggression to equalize and get their medic. This doesn't really work when our people are weak and when um, their medic is still healing. Um, they were just out healing and out positioning our people there that tried to get go for their medic and just overextended out of last through each other onto the medic one by one. They had easy frags like Bubun and Cookie if they're fully buffed and you throw a 60 HP T-Mac and a scout on them there's nothing that these guys are gonna do against it. So we're giving it away now just by sacrificing a lot of people. Brigo, you see Brigo just dropping down here off the point, trying to go for Merlin. He's gonna get flanked and destroyed as well. I'm gonna unpause now in three, two, one. Nice pipe from Brigo. I died to Sticky Trap, I didn't see. Rip is full HP. They can just step on the point and cap it off. That's exactly what to do. Three to six, six to three. You see, there's a lot of small mistakes that cost us a lot of rounds. A lot of uh, a lot of caps that we should have had, and um, yeah. Equalizer rollout. Tip the the usual spam rocket maybe to the demo. Oh, not this time. Look, our scout just hit. It was directed by a uh, by a pipe or something. Is weak already. There's, their roamer is weak, so I just go in. Uh, I try to survive to just make room for my team, but we can't really. We didn't really hit much, so we should go out by now. Look, everybody's under 50 HP. We're still going in. We actually managed to get a lot of frags in return, which is ridiculous because this just really comes down to Brody not being having focus fire. And yeah, it seems we are holding the middle. But I didn't see their medic dying, so they will just retake mid maybe. Rip is going absolutely massive right now. Just had a two kill on with two pipes or something like this. Um, oh, I jump into a, a direct rocket. I'm calling now to get back for James because there's nothing we can, there's nothing we can do. They have like scouts on our flank and um, positioning already. They have HP. Their respawn waves are coming in, and we even have to give up choke here without Brigo. Teammate is on a positioning on Spire. Uh, they're coming in, and now let's pause. Three, two, one. Piss poor, absolutely piss poor positioning by Cracklin here. Basically, just sitting on. Crits was almost ready, and we're just sitting on Grey Bridge, waiting for somebody to make the call to move forward. Happening, and they're just walking in uncontested um, through a choke point like Haunter and Choke. Uh, the, the fight starts in front of our home door, basically, in front of our 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 main door here, our main gate, and we're gonna lose this fight, or we should be losing this fight. If we're not, then again, it's fail, and it's a uh, misfocus fire by Brode. I'm gonna unpause in 3, 2, 1. So, I miss a lot of shots, I had a lot of shots. t has nice damage from above because he's basically uncontested, but they get him off Spire. Cookie was coming in late from Choke, basically just flanking t -Mac. We lose the Spire here. 
Twick again going for a hero play, giving them another pick. Sam going for a hero play that he shouldn't have won, by the way. Like, they just got 1-1 against Bubin. That was uh, Bubin just being outclassed by Sammy. And we're setting up for a spy defense again. Uh, for a last defense, my bad. So what I like to do is what lately people do is that they have scouts building on the higher ground and soldiers just waiting for like easy rockets and somebody overextending. I don't really like that too much because um, I tend when I'm not in charge to build I tend to just overextend too much away from admirable and then I have to like cross a huge distance to just get to him again when he needs me so I want to be there the split second that he needs me. And I think we're gonna get charged here as well. People super weak on the ground. Look at this, they could just easily frag two frags here on, on main, but they're not doing it. We have charge. T Mang is still jumping around like a madman. And let's see what we what will happen here. It's just a minute on the clock, a bit over a minute, and I'm, I think I'm for sure I we lose this push. I get flashed here. We force ourselves to a multi-charge that is really unnecessary. Uh, there are soldiers jumping up to the point. Look at them, they're just distracting here. Like, I think their demo is just uncontested with the scouts and they just outplay us. So, the, the demo is over now. My resume after watching that demo is that in that game, a lot of got, it, it, it got better after watching STV of this game because I could fix some stuff but in that game what happened was that we had wrong priorities on what to do like certain classes in, in the team has have certain things to do scouts have to cap the pocket has to pocket the demo has to control area and that all got mixed up we didn't read them completely crushing me all the time uh, on our train which is fine I all I said before I'm getting a lot of heals so I can take a lot and I don't mind dying but this would be the perfect scenario for our scouts and our Roma to then come in instead of taking damage before um, to just utilize basically on me getting completely focus fired on and everybody shooting at me there um, Crew positioning by me and admirable at times with just standing on with with a crit charge on grey bridge and something like this. So it comes down to focus and uh, to communication, not really to aim because there were, I hit a lot of stuff this game. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that and it helps me and uh, I hope it will help you to become a better gamer. And to improve in TF2. And if you want to see this happening more often. Just let us know. We would do it either way. So. <laughs> Good night my friends.